Today, we're diving straight into a groundbreaking revelation that's set to redefine the way we interact with artificial intelligence. It's 2023, and OpenAI's ChatGPT is about to blow your mind. All right, folks, let's break this down. Remember ChatGPT? It used to be this super smart AI, but it had this cutoff date in 2021, meaning it couldn't tell you anything that happened after that. But here's the big news. OpenAI dropped a bombshell on X. That's the what Twitter's called now. Saying ChatGPT is now like a web surfing wizard. It can dig up the latest, most trustworthy info from the internet. And it even gives you direct website links. How's it doing that? Well, it's all thanks to a shiny new partnership with Microsoft's Bing search engine. You ask ChatGPT something, and it doesn't just give you some old data. Nope, it goes online, finds the freshest facts, and hands them to you on a digital platter. So who's in the driver's seat with the ChatGPT superpower? It's not some secret club. You can be part of it too. You just have to be a Chat GPT Plus subscriber or rocking the Chat GPT Enterprise version. Guess what? You've got the golden ticket. Here's the deal. You hop on over to that Chat GPT 4 selector up top and voila. It's not hidden in some obscure menu. It's right there, waiting. Just click, and you'll unlock the ChatGPT's web surfing awesomeness. It's as simple as that. Hang on a sec, because I know what some of you might be thinking. Hey, didn't they already give this a shot? And you're spot on. Back in March, OpenAI rolled out ChatGPT's web surfing talents. It sounded great, but there were a couple of bumps in the road. One big hiccup was those pesky news websites with paywalls. ChatGPT was just too good at bypassing them, and that didn't sit well. So OpenAI hit that pause button. They went back to the drawing board to make sure everything's fair and square. But guess what? They've cracked the code, literally. This time around, ChatGPT's got manners. It knows when to respect those web rules. It's back, and it's better than ever. So, if you were worried about deja vu, don't be. This time, it's a whole new ballgame. Even though some of us don't have a problem in breaking rules and bypassing paywalls, it's still really important for ChatGPT to have problems with its AI. AI is under a big magnifying glass and any mistakes on the moral side can shift the public's opinion about it. Because of this, the team at OpenAI needs to be really careful. And here comes the comeback story, folks. ChatGPT's back in action. And you might wonder, what's the deal this time? Well, OpenAI's played the diplomacy card. They've become super friendly with website owners. Website owners have this secret code called robot.txt and it's like a do not disturb sign for web crawlers. It tells them what they can and can't touch on a website. This time, ChatGPT's learned some manners. It respects the code like it's a golden rule. So if a website says, don't go here, ChatGPT listens and doesn't mess around. In plain English, it's like ChatGPT knows not to step on anyone's toes. It's all about being polite in the digital world. So, when you ask it something, you know it's going to give you good stuff without causing any trouble. The hype is real, folks. OpenAI's big shots are bursting with excitement, and they're not keeping it to themselves. They've hopped onto their personal X accounts to throw a virtual party. Here's the curveball. Microsoft's Bing Chat, which came on the scene earlier this year, is packing some serious heat. It's got a brand new OpenAI model that's like the big brother of ChatGPT. This new kid on the block is supercharged. So what's the deal? Well, it can do all the same web surfing magic as ChatGPT, but here's the twist. It's like ChatGPT on steroids. It's flexing its muscles. When it comes to browsing the web, 
Bing Chat's got some serious secret sauce that makes it even more impressive. So what's ChatGPT got going for itself? See, when you use ChatGPT, you don't have to bounce around different windows or tabs. You can chat with ChatGPT and browse the web all in one place. Imagine you're chatting with a friend on the phone and suddenly you want to look something up. You don't have to switch to a different app or browser. It's all right there. So with ChatGPT, you've got this super convenient combo. You're not sacrificing the chatting experience for web browsing. You're getting both without the fuss. So if you love multitasking and want the best of both worlds, ChatGPT has got your back. No need to juggle apps. It's all right in one spot. That's the difference that makes ChatGPT pretty darn awesome. Also, OpenAI just dropped a bombshell. They've given ChatGPT a serious upgrade, and it's nothing short of mind-blowing. Now, get this. ChatGPT isn't just a tech wizard anymore. Nope, it's entered the superhero league. It can do things that sound straight out of a sci-fi movie. First up, it can analyze images. You show it a pic, and it'll tell you what's going on in there. But wait, there's more. ChatGPT can chat with you using audio. You talk, it talks back. It's like having a real conversation with an AI. And here's the kicker. It can even mimic your voice. Yes, you heard that right. It can sound like you. It's like having your voice cloned by a robot in a good way. So imagine the possibilities. You can chat, you can show it stuff, and it'll chat back to you in your voice. It's like we're living in the future, my friends. This ChatGPT upgrade is like something from a sci-fi dream. Stay tuned because the tech world just got a whole lot more exciting. To sum it up, ChatGPT is breaking free from its knowledge cage, bringing you the latest and greatest from the web. It's a comeback story with a twist, and the possibilities are endless. So, if you're ready to embark on the journey with ChatGPT, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and don't forget to share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts. The future is here, and we're ready to uncover it together. Thanks for tuning in to Next Gen, where tomorrow begins today.